Alright, so apparently we're gonna be starting Danganronpa by departing to an island of some sort. Apparently we're gonna have a school trip, a school trip with uh, Usami. And, uh, well, like I said before, let's begin the craziness. The, ca the classroom collapsed like a stage set, and what appeared before me instead was... Blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal. Clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Inconceivable even. This is unacceptable. Blatantly wrong. Um. Uh. Huh? Are you kidding me? This is just a joke, right? Really? Why? What's going on? Everyone. Everyone, please stay calm. <laughs> this is no reason to panic. See? Look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? It washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on. Give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where? You ask? Well, obviously we are... <laughs> out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. By the sea. <laughs> I, I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, you know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. Something like this. But we were just at school, and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. Hold on a the school trip. <sighs> Oh god, too much to comprehend over here. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. Are we on Destiny Islands now? Oh god, this is a... This is a Kingdom Hearts game, isn't it? Where is Riku? I, I wanna see Riku. I wanna kick his ass a little bit. I wanna... I wanna pun it. I wanna... Beat some sense into him a little bit. But like... Why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skip all the stuff that comes first! Yeah, she's right. We were all supposed to be attending Hope Speed Academy. I see. Ah, Hope Speed Academy. I see. I see. You don't say. And there's a feeling I'm sure about Hope Speed Academy. Then, in that case. Alrighty! Please forget about Hope Speed Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first place. I see. So everything will happen in this... in this island. Not at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. Oh! But that's kind of weird, though. We went to Hope's Peak Academy and now we are here. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> like... I understand that uh, the Mastermind is able to create all this stuff, but... How did the mastermind? How was the mastermind able to teleport us all the way over here, wherever the fuck we are, in Bufu fucking Egypt? The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just what are you skimming? I'm not skimming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that hope will grow within everyone's heart. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. So please, there is no need to worry at all. Wait. Island? Did you just say island? Yeah, we are clear on an island. Blue waves. The sun is up. Sand everywhere. Coconuts. Oh boy. You know, I was asking for a little bit of a vacation. Before... 
before going on an ad another adventure slash killing game, but hey, apparently I'm getting an vac a vacation over here. We are on an island. I guess that's neat. Yep, and it certainly is beautiful. It was prepared just for us, an island free from other people and danger. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Uh, can't say that it is uninhabited, but I guess we shall see. Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? Oh! Oh! He knows! He fucking knows! Oh, we can kill each other? That's... No, no way! Bloody business, like causing violence or inflicting pain, is a big no-no on this island. Is that so? Well, how can I actually believe you? I mean, you did save Makoto from execution at the end of school mode. But then again, I don't know if that is canon or not. I do have my doubts that that is actually canon, but... Either way... You did take over a Coast Peak Academy, so what is your plan? Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Yeah. <laughs> so scary. What are you thinking? Then what is this school trip you mentioned? What do you intend for us to do on this island? Alrighty, I should announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax in this island, in this island paradise. You must get along and straighten your bonds with one another. That is the main role of this heart-throbbing school trip. Heart... Heart-throbbing school trip? <laughs> the surprised look on Biakuya's face. That's right. The surprised look that Biakuya has. My god. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about. Free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey dovey heart throbbing school trip is. <laughs> everyone's homework. Homework. Did you? Did she just say yipikaye? <laughs> that's a. That's definitely something. Yipikaye! What? What the hell does that even mean? Now then. Let the heart-throbbing school trip begin! Okay... He goes without saying, but... I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering... My mind groaned to a halt. What the hell? But... But come on, this is- ah! Uh, okay, uh... <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have been tricked into going in this school trip. How am I supposed to learn about the tragedy if I'm gonna... If I'm just gonna sit here and talk to people all day with no murdering? Hey. Duh. You gotta be kidding me. Can you hear me? Are you okay? You seem pretty out of it. To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same too. S 
since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. A very, very weird situation, my friend. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, I think I'm fine. Alrighty then. Hey. So, what are we gonna do now? I mean, we are beginning this school trip, but what are we sup what are we, what are we gonna do? I Hey, are you sure you're okay? Leave me alone. There's no way I can leave someone alone when they look that pale. I did hear him a couple of times, and I think I know what kind of voice I should give this guy, even though I don't really know his name yet. White Sandy Beach, Crystal Blue Ocean. The sun's ray is beaming down on me. This soft, tropical wind brushing my skin? I definitely don't know what's going on. Well, f one thing is for sure. You can definitely be romantic. You can definitely be romantic, for sure. But other than that, hmm, I was supposed to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Why did this... What, 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 why am I here at a place like this? That rabbit thing said we are on a tropical island. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I have no idea what's going on. That's the only thing I can say with an absolute certainty. Uh, okay. I guess we have uh, the narrator slash the tutorial guy. Welcome to Dungan Island. I will explain the basic controls to you. With the mouse, you can maneuver the reticle on the screen. If the reticle responds, press the left mouse button. Okay. You can examine that person or object. Also, you can shift your point of view with the WSD keys. Plus, if you press the tab key, you can use a mysterious power to see everything you can examine. The world sure has become super convenient if you are able to do all this from the get-go. Hey, <laughs> I know, right? I can ex I can see everything. <laughs> Now then, please search this beach thoroughly, and progress the story. Mm, okay, so tap key will enable me to do this. I guess that's nice. Oh wow! <laughs> this is actually pretty cool, ladies and gents. Like, I don't know if I actually... Well, I didn't really talk about this in the first game, but... In the first game, you can only press this to to search for items, but you cannot move while you are doing this, but now you can. You can actually search for stuff and move your camera at the same time. That's actually pretty convenient. It like the camera always stops when you press the button for searching stuff. That's nice. And it's actually pretty convenient for me. We have a tree. Ah. It is definitely a nice place, must say. I would like would like some coconut please. I guess it makes sense for there to be palm trees on a tropical island. That's a mighty fine palm tree. But now's not the time for me to be impressed by it. Yeah, now I'm questioning why the fuck am I on a tropical island with palm trees over here? I should destroy this palm tree, I'm so confused! Ah! Hey! A monitor! Look at this! Why is there a monitor in a place like this? The screen is blank. What is this being used for? Oh boy, okay. Well, the question is, do I get like Monokuma coins? <gasps> surveillance camera! Decoy! Is that a camera? A surveillance camera? Are we being monitored or something? <laughs> yep, definitely. That's not it. I wouldn't say we're being monitored. I think we're just being watched for our safety. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a waste of time to think about it. Best not to worry. I guess I'm gonna give him that type of voice. He does seem to have that type of... I don't know how should I su how I should describe it, like raspy a little bit? Like that of a drug addict of some sort. I mean, hey, he does look like a drug addict a little bit. I mean, look at that hair. He he definitely has like a like a weird hair. Not as weird as uh, Yasuhiro. I mean, he was a drug addict as well, but hey. I think that's, uh, that voice will suit him well. What's with this guy? How can we be so calm in a situation like this? <laughs> yep, a drug addict. There you go. Maybe he's just a chill guy. 
or that too, but I'm gonna bet he that he do he does drugs. Before I talk to that guy, I should try to understand the situation I'm in I'm in first. Okay. I guess we should check some other stuff. Check the sea. Ah, the ocean. The crystal clear, shining blue sea. It's perfect from a for a tropical island. Just what's going on here? I never wanted anything like this at all. Hey. So, how are you feeling? Are you calm down now? Um, I understand your confusion after everything that's happened. But why don't we start with an introduction? Introduction? Alright. I'm Nobby, the ultimate adventurer slash detective and whatever. And uh, Hajime here is... well... I barely know him, so... What about you? Who are you? I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nagito Komaeda. Uh, oh, the unlucky student! What? Uh... Ultimate lucky student, you say, huh? Ah, along with my introduction. I guess I'll also tell you about my talent so you know why Hope Speak Academy chose me. Well, even if I tell you, in my case, it's a pretty disappointing talent. A uh, disappointing talent? What do you mean? I'm lucky. What are you talking about? That's not it. It's not a joke or anything. That's my actual talent. I'm the ultimate lucky student. At least, that's what I'm called anyway. Ultimate lucky student? You're right. Though a countrywide lottery, apparently only one ordinary student is selected at random to attend. House Peak Academy is the ultimate lucky student. And that lucky winner just so happened to be me. Chosen by a lottery? Is that really okay? <laughs> I see. So we are gonna have like a lucky student as well here. Well, that's for sure. Um, Hajime is definitely not the ultimate lucky student. Apparently, Nagito over here is. Oh. Um, I can't say that the ultimate lucky student title really helped Makoto in the last game. So, I don't know about you, guy. You did say that this is like a useless talent of some sort, so... Yeah. I mean, is lucky even a real talent in the first place? Not quite, but eh, not gonna, not gonna say anything about that. How strange! What happened? Your face looks troubled. Oh no, I'm, I, I'm not troubled or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have mixed feelings about this too. Someone like me. Uh, I never thought an average, talentless high school student like me would ever enter Oxy Academy. At first, I declined. I told them I didn't deserve it, but they told me they really wanted me to attend. Apparently this so-called luck of mine is a talent that even the school doesn't fully understand. To research it, the school picks the ultimate lucky student every year through an annual lottery. House Peak Academy is amazing if they can actually research something as vague as luck. Well, thanks to that luck, a guy like me was able to attend Hope's Peak Academy, so for that I'm grateful. This is troubling. But on the other hand, I feel a little out of place here. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. I have a bad habit of viewing most things through a pessimistic lens. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for my introduction. Okay. Oh, well, Makoto never imagined either when he first started, and now he is the ultimate hope. And he's probably fighting wars now, <laughs> as we speak. So, eh, you never know what will happen with you, Nagito. Maybe you're gonna be a little special, uh, you're gonna be a little bit special in this, it seems. He does have that vibe that he does, he does uh, show a little bit of, uh, of an important character over here. Hmm. Nagito Kamaeda. Huh. He doesn't seem like the most reliable guy. 
But he doesn't strike me as a bad person either. Hey. Now then, it's your turn. Yeah. I'm I'm Hajime Hinata. Then let me ask you a question. What is your ultimate talent? Um I I uh, I opened my mouth but the words would not form. I felt my thoughts stalling in my stalling in my head. As if I opened the book expecting to find words, and instead found blank pages. Ah oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me that that he actually forgot. It's because of the memory loss? Hold on a second. So Hajime doesn't remember his talent. And Nagito is the ultimate lucky student. Is this like a Makoto and, Ky and Kyoko situation over here? We have like reversed... Uh, we have reversed roles? <gasps> Does that mean that uh, I'm a detective? Oh my god, I, I do hope that I'm gonna be a detective. I do hope that uh, Hajime is a detective. That would be actually that would actually be pretty awesome. That is, if we're gonna be able to find find out his talent. Something tells me that we're not gonna find out his talent until much later. But I don't know. Let's see. It was that kind of uncomfortable feeling. The memory I was trying to recall had completely vanished from my mind. Uh, uh. Without realizing it. My body began to shudder as waves of discomf discomfort began pounding against me. What happened? Uh, Hajime, what happened? Uh, it's nothing. I guess I'm still pretty confused about all this. I'm having trouble remembering some things. I understand how your memory might be confused after suddenly getting into a situation like this. I'm sure you'll remember soon once you've settled down. But the question is, how can you for- Well... Same question go goes for Kyoko. How can she forget her ultimate talent? I mean... Uh, it kinda depends on how long she has been a detective. I don't know. But... Eh, I guess I'm not gonna question that. So, I don't think you need to worry about it all that much. You're right. Yep. Then, I guess we're done with our introductions for now. Even though I don't know what's going on, I hope we can get along. What was that? Obtain the hope fragment? Hey, did something just beep? <laughs> uh, yeah, this hope fragment suddenly appeared inside me. <laughs> what a weird sound. <laughs> I hastily stuck my hand into my pocket. That's right. That strange mechanical sound just now definitely came from the inside of my pocket. Ah! A e handbook! Sweet! Now I can... Um, now I can actually save. I hope. Actually, can I? Yeah, it only... Uh, for right now, it only shows me the controls and the system. I can only really save. But now that I have the e-handbook, however, I can save, which is pretty nice. It's like a PDA or a smartphone. Why is something like this inside my pocket? And a bigger question would be, who put this inside me? Are you okay? Uh, Nagito? You didn't uh, touch my butt or something like that. Are you the one who put the e-handbook in my pants? Or was it Usami? I... I am... I am a little scared over here. Usami was passing them out earlier, remember? Oh, okay. Thank you, <laughs> Nagito. So it wasn't you. Alright. You seemed pretty out of it when that was going on. Why did he mention it? I think I kind of remember, but... What is this? It's an e-handbook! What the... <laughs> uh, get used to it, uh, Hajime. Like, uh, uh, people like animals like uh, Usami do come out of nowhere. W where did it come from? I'm sorry. Oh, did I stand on you? I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to apologize like a good girl. Um, anyway, don't you think it's cool? That handbook is absolutely vital for this school trip, so make sure you don't lose it. 
Okay, well, can I actually save? Uh, not yet. This device is that important? I shall explain. I've asked everyone to use their handbook to gather all the hope fragments. Hope fragments? Hope fragments? Right. Um, on this island, you'll obtain hope fragments as you get along with your classmates. As your relationship with everyone improves, you'll be able to gather more and more hope fragments. I see. Gather hope fragments so that the flower of hope achieves its full bloom. Bloom. Truly, that is the main purpose of this school trip. So, basically, we collect all these hope fragments and then. Love, love. Love, love. Uh, hey! Well, uh, uh, she's gone. <laughs> A stuffed animal that moves, talks, and also appears wherever and whenever she wants. <sighs> I do miss Monokuma a little bit. I do miss him. This isn't what I was expecting, though. I, I wasn't expecting a school trip, but... Eh. Regardless of who's actually controlling it, it still doesn't make any sense. And what was that all about Hope Fragments? Yeah, what's the deal? It's like we were in a game or something. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall over there a little bit, Hajime. If this feels like a game, that's very comf comforting. That means we aren't going to be in danger right away. <laughs> well, right away, yeah. You're probably right, but... Warm... Oh, okay. I'm sorry if... Um, if I confused, like, say I I talked like Nagito, but it was actually Hajime that was speaking. I feel like I've done that mistake throughout this episode. In that case, I'm sorry, ladies and gents. But again, it's really weird to have like the names vertically like that. It's just, ugh. is there a way to change that? I hope so. I don't know. Hmm. No, oh, this is the system. Controls. Yeah, I don't know. More importantly, you don't know anything about the other students yet, right? Yep. Then, I think it's best if you at least introduce yourself to them. Well, that's also true, but... Where did everyone go? Perhaps... Maybe they're exploring the island as well? Okay, now, now I'm sounding a little bit more like an old man over here. <laughs> okay. I am not... Uh... I'm not uh, doing this guy justice. Exploring the island? Hey. As long as we're expected to live on this island, we should learn as much as we can about it. For example, what's this island's name? Is there a way to escape? What about food and living arrangements? <laughs> so, why don't we finish introducing ourselves to the others and explore the island at the same time? I guess that's a nice idea. I guess that's a good idea. I pretty much went around and introduced myself to everyone already, but I'll tag along with you. So now he's decided to come with me. Well, I guess that's helpful for me. I know I'd worry if I was left on my own. All right. Shall we get going then? Okay, but I don't know. He definitely seems like a nice guy. This Nagito Komaeda. A little bit... He does uh, offer a little bit of a weird vibe, though, I don't know. But is this really okay? To feel so relaxed in such a strange situation. Perhaps it's, it's the tropical climate? Or it's just like he said, he's a he's more of a chill guy. Even though, yeah, it is weird. We are all on, on this tropical island. I don't think he should be that chillax. But, I don't know. Or is it that what's her, what's her name? Usami's fault? What happened? What is it, Hajime? Let's get going. Th right, got it. Well, at any rate, if this is a nightmare, I have no idea if it's even started yet. Sheesh! What kind of nightmare is that? You are now able to use the handbook. You can use it to check various information throughout the game. You can open the e-handbook with the F1 key. You can open the e-handbook 
with the F1 key. Yeah, that, that is a very... Hey, it's a very good position for the dot over there, game. <laughs> a very good position over there. It's super easy. It includes the guidelines of the school trip and a report card which documents everybody's information. There are various features inside the handbook. You can also save and load your game inside the handbook. Please check out the system page as well. But wait, there's more! You can also view the transcript with the F2 key. That's all there is about the, e the handbook. I strongly recommend you play around with it yourself. Now then, please go forth and look for everyone else. Oh, right. You can exit the beach with the R key. With the R key, huh? Okay. So, let's see. Um, okay. We have the presents over here. We have the report cards. With every student over here, apparently. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15. Yeah, we are 16 over here. Regulations, pet. Oh, I do wonder. Okay, we have the regulations over here. Usami's regulations. Okay, well that's nice. Can I also save? Yes, there you go. Okay, so I guess we shall save right over here, and I guess we shall continue on with our little. Uh, well, I assume this is going to be the prologue. Yeah, it's uh, it's <laughs> it shows on the on the. On the top right, it says prologue, so I guess we shall continue with a prologue in the next episode and see what will happen. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely interesting. A very interesting and weird beginning of Danganronpa 2, as it should be. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh.